Hello, welcome to Industry Reactions. Industry Reactions is a weekly briefing on industry events, changes, and future trends that impact your business. We're your hosts, Rick Honer and Mark Friedel from ChemPoint. You can find Industry Reactions on YouTube, LinkedIn, and as a podcast. For those watching on YouTube, make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and smash that like button. We plan on discussing issues that impact the global industry and help you uncover new opportunities. We hope this will provide market intelligence that will keep you ahead of changing conditions. Let's talk about safety for a minute. This weekend, I was driving with my kids and we saw a truck that had a very unsecure load. You know, we've all been behind a truck that had stuff haphazardly thrown in the back, a few things, bungee cords holding it down, things flying out. You know, worse yet, this guy had his arm hanging out the window, holding onto the mattress, going down the highway to keep it from flying off. You know, so my share is don't be the guy with the unsecured load. And, you know, if you're not that guy, make sure you don't follow behind those people when you see them. And also make sure and report these individuals because it's very unsafe activity. Great tip. Stay away from those guys. First, we will start with a broad economic outlook. The COVID-19 pandemic intensifying, ongoing uncertainty of the US presidential election, and lawmakers haven't come to terms on another fiscal rescue package to soar up the fragile economy. It's difficult to make predictions. Data for October indicate that the Eurozone economy's recovery is slipping into a new phase of contraction due to a rebound in coronavirus infections and related blowback on business and consumer activity. While the US economy appears more durable so far, America is reporting a new rise in COVID-19 infections, which suggests economic headwinds in the future. US coronavirus hospitalizations are rising in 39 states and at or near a record in almost half of the states. The good news is that the US economy appears to be holding on to a rebound. The bottom line, the weeks ahead will be critical for determining if the U.S. can avoid Europe's double dip risk. The main factors in the immediate future is fiscal stimulus or a lack thereof and the effects of the COVID infections. All right, we're all looking forward to that free money. Let's see if the government can actually pull through. While there's still uncertainty about the future, the American Chemical Chemistry Council reports that within with the recovery in the U.S. economy slowing, U.S. specialty chemicals market volumes were stable in September. Specialty chemicals differ, as you know, from commodity chemicals. So while commodity chemicals comprise most of the production volume in the global marketplace, specialty chemicals are relatively high value with greater market growth rates. Of the 28 specialty chemical segments that ACC monitors, 13 expanded in September. That's actually down from 27 segments in August. Of the 13 segments showing growth in September, eight featured gains of 1% or more. Yet in the same vein, North America rail volume continues to strengthen. Chemical rail car traffic in North America continued to strengthen during the week ending 17th of October. On a four week basis, volume was down slightly from 2019 and 2018. I saw on the local news program that Halloween is now called the spooky season. Rick, I don't know if you've heard this. It was it was a bit of bit of news to me though. But really besides, this whole this whole year has been the spooky season ever since March. Yeah, that's a good point. I can't I can't ever remember hearing it uh, being called the spooky season. Well, on Wall Street, it is earnings season reporting for the third quarter. Most companies have reported earnings were down slight compared to 2019, but doing much better than Q1 and Q2 of this year. Overall, poor market conditions for most businesses are now improving from the lows seen in the second quarter. Since then, countries across the world have opened up their economies after lockdown and market conditions have gradually improved during the third quarter. The automotive and durable sectors are still weak, but are now slowly improving and there are encouraging signs from the construction sector. A number of companies are restarting plants in the Gulf Coast after they were, like the song, rock like a hurricane. 
Sasol has restarted seven units at its Lake Charles, Louisiana location. Westlake Chemical, Lot Chemical, and Lionel Bissell also have either restarted or begun restarting all of their operations in Delta's wake. But because the year 2020 will not stop giving, Hurricane Zeta is getting stronger over the Western Caribbean and taking a track similar to Hurricane Delta, heading towards the Northern Gulf Coast. Now, moving on to product related news, let's look at new product innovation that has been occurring across the industry. Semex announced today that Virtua, its first ever net zero carbon concrete, will soon be available in its major markets worldwide after a successful launch in Europe. This family of product ranges from low carbon to the first net zero CO2 concrete in the market. This solution has a reduced carbon footprint of up to 70% without sacrificing performance. The compensation of the remaining CO2 is achieved by participating in rain reforestation projects, among other initiatives. Where was this news last week? We just did a new concrete patio in our backyard, and I think Virtua would have been awesome. Yeah, you could have been carbon neutral, Mark, in your patio. Uh, maybe next summer. <laughs> Kerry has unveiled its expanded range of organic certified extracts and flavorings that are in compliance with the upcoming EU regulations for organic flavor, flavor labeling. The first to market portfolio includes citrus, berry, orchard, tropical, and brown profiles. Uh, I'm not sure what brown, flavor brown is, but my kids refer to Gatorade flavors as red, yellow, or orange. So what do I know? Still delicious. Now moving on to M&A news. The US-based private equity firm Core Industrial Partners has announced its acquisition of J&K Ingredients Corp, a manufacturer of baked goods ingredients with an emphasis on natural, organic, and clean label products. The food industry continues to convert to clean label ingredients in response to consumer demand. The company's signature product lines include Breadmate, rice mate, and more recently, sor mate, the first fruit-based natural replacement for sorbic acid and potassium sorbate. That's a mouthful, Mark. Brentag has signed an agreement to acquire Comelt and its subsidiary, Aqua de Pur, both located in Northern Italy. Hopefully I said that correctly. The business is focused on the processing, marketing, and distribution of activated and reactivated carbon for different applications such as water filtration and purification of air and flue gas. Warehouses and a laboratory in Northern Italy are included in the transaction. Sounds exciting. Axo Nobel continues to grow in Europe after agreeing to acquire the decorative paints business of Spain's Industrious Titan. Titan is one of Spain's best known brands for decorative paints. Innovative Chemical Products announced this week the acquisition of Leeson Polyurethanes, a leading UK based manufacturer of polyurethane adhesives and coatings used in building and construction, insulation, sport surfaces, waterproofing, and a variety of other sectors and markets. The company's diverse portfolio will be highly complementary to the ICP Building Solutions Group portfolio. Barents, distributor of life science ingredients, has expanded its activities in Asian life science markets by acquiring Nardev, a distributor of ingredients to the personal care industry. Nardev has offices throughout Southeast Asia, including Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Singapore. The acquisition is aligned with Barents' strategy to strengthen its position in APAC. And I'm sure those are growing markets for the personal care industry. Yeah, and Barron's is in the news again. They were just, uh, they announced something last week. They're making a lot of moves. And in upcoming webinars, this week at Chempoint, we'll be hosting a webinar to cover all aspects of data and the impact and best practices in our industry. The event will be Wednesday, October 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Hopefully you can make it. I'm excited about the content of that event. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Industry Reactions. We will return next week with a fresh batch of industry reactions. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, and stay thirsty. Take care. All right, bye for now.